C because it's Q. That's the only way you hypnotize them. And if you do, if you do it Wait, wrong, did then they hypnotize work? you. Maybe. What? Oh God. no. Well, I mean, the last time we Guys, played, we got the. Guys, our save didn't work. What no, about that's no, 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 hey, hey, hey. No, that, that's because our last, our last game, we, we, we got an ending, but it was the worst ending where we got locked up in a mental asylum. Yeah, but it should have still kept our saves. It didn't keep any know, of I, our progress. I, I don't think we actually saved at all doing it. We just, we just went through Yeah, I did. Is that a guy? Oh, no, okay, so it end? does. It saves really well. Select the god of. Oh yeah, you yeah you would hear about gainers like the a lot of human beings. Yeah, our it didn't man work right. From a okay, so yeah, let's do mean? some weirdness. Let's just uh, let's just be quiet and let Kane enjoy his first experience. Like let's let's pop his cherry. Hot. His brown cherry. Yeah, it did. It didn't. It didn't transfer the save, so it's not a that. That's nice to know. Thank God the controls are coming up, bro. So I wouldn't know. Why way. is why is F four the fucking full screen? Is dumb shit. That's actually pretty common. Now usually it's F eleven, isn't it? I have to go out the dog. Who wants to be doggo? Oh, no, this is an ad. Oh my god, I thought this was the game. You can see the game, right? You can just watch it from the Discord. Oh yeah, I know. I just like. Also Hello. Welcome to Dryle Town! Round Raiding Room! Right, that's what he was doing last time, too. Why did he have a waffle in his mouth? Yes. Room Rush, Row, Rancer, Riss, Rounds, Rush, and Dre. Alright, let's do it. <laughs> Is there any particular reason that you're speaking in all caps? Wait. Am I me right now, or me right now? What does he mean? <laughs> You're gonna love it. I don't understand. Whoa, whoa, whoa. My rook rover ran up through Rancher to Grayard. You look like a <laughs> fucking hound. It's my look. That is wordful rather than accurate, bro. <laughs> right, bro. Where you shut up? I can ask you what your name is. I can't do the R's anymore. <laughs> Stop it, you psycho. Oh, right. Anywho, what's your name? Did I do somebody controversial? Butt magic. All right. Blueberry. Blue waffle. No. Why the? I'm still no. Really? That's your name? I mean, that's an appropriate reaction. Oh, oh, God, I'm so sorry. Oh, just how God made me, dog. You get to be main character, Kane. Oh, I'm gone. Anywho, second question. What no, the head section only head? affects oh. compatibility with dateable characters. It doesn't directly indicate gender. So do you want to be a phone head, Kane, or do you want to be a typewriter head? I want to be a phone head. Typewriter head sounds weird. Oh, nice! Enjoy having telemarketers living in your brain! I'd rather be a phone than a fucking dog! <laughs> My greatest burden is remembering where I buried my old breadsticks at the given time. Also, I'm gonna go take a dump on your lawn and there's nothing you can do about it. Please reevaluate your life choices thusly. Now, final question. Kane, are you a boy? A girl? Or average president? I would definitely say this I'm is a different than the last time president. we played, guys. <laughs> definitely Hello, below average. average president, 100%. Into own pronouns. I'd be like George W. Bush level president, I'd say. <laughs> uh, not sure what to fill in on this line of the questionnaire. I love this waffle. Questionnaire? There's no paper. You're just asking me fucking questions. Shut up. Do not question that. Warning! NPCs will occasionally refer to you by your species 
Goblin. We're perfect to introduce to the Kevin and Terms are not readily available. <laughs> People are dumping the, ch the stream. They're leaving. Uh, like, I'm a goblin? <laughs> Daddy Doggo. What did I say about calling me that? Is the voice that annoying to them? It's just, I guess, because it's so weird. Some of, some of this phone. I can change. I no, can no, change. no, I think it's just the weirdness. People in the in the other chat hasn't seen this kind of weirdness before, and they're just like, what the fuck? It's only going to get Yo, weirder. I got a tent. I Let's do want to check something. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that works now. I forgot we called it. Oh. Sinful chur? Wait, what? Sinful chur? What? Cre creature. Creature. Oh, creature. Seems I'm alive again. Good. You're doing good at voice acting. Oh, God. Darn! <laughs> Fuck, that hurt. I Look hate it when I do that. Nipples. Look at how many nipples you have. Why do you have so many nipples? Oh, my God, you had like eight nipples or some shit. Breastfeeding ASMR win? Mm. Tomorrow. My non wait, my non-specific reproductive organs are firm and ripe. Dear God, man. Must be getting ready to hatch. <laughs> oh, this is getting I think tense. that's a car hood. The time for reproduction is now. Facts, though. This is just breeding simulator. I must find a dank, dark pit to lay my eggs in. Away from my enemies, so they cannot destroy them. Fairground. We're still watching. Fairground is dark, dank, and greasy. We're always yeah, watching. That's actually probably fairly accurate to most fairgrounds, especially the greasy part. Plentiful supply of carnival food nearby. Yeah, no, ground zero is definitely the fried dough cart, and then all the greasiness just spreads out from there. Yes. I must go to the carnival. I was not, I was not thinking I was going to say that today. <laughs> go to the fun fair. That was a terrifying clown. All clowns are terrifying, oh, for being honest. It said something, but it went by too fast. Well, there we have it. A c the carnival. So close yet so far. Must gain entry. Must penetrate defenses of mile high railings. I mean, those railings are hardly a mile high. Based narrator, <laughs> lay eggs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I'm so you could clapped. always, you know, go through the main gate. Well, it's so crazy, it just might work. The narrator is just Mike DMing anything that we're doing in D&D. And &D. <laughs> we're this character. Yo, so the, the, yeah, you only... mean the NPC characters I try to get to get to curve all the murder and rape? Yes. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah, I gotta sort through the, you throw through the trash. Greetings, ticket buffoon! Who wants to be the ticket buffoon? Uh, I guess I'll Moko, you can do it. I, yeah, Moko hasn't gotten to do a voice. Yeah, go for it. My name's Jerry, but okay, make me an acquaintance. That's actually perfect. How can I help you today? I wish to gain entrance, Jerry of the ticket booth. I do know we will have a choice coming up, so. Well, do you wish to buy a ticket, Goblin? Nah, it's fine. <laughs> I don't want to piss behind any of your rides this year. I simply wish to find a fetid hole to lay my eggs in. Give me a second, it's in the audio here. Okay, you definitely need to buy a ticket from us if you wanna do that. Rats! Rats, what? How much would wet cost? Two dollars. Fudge, I have zero dollars. Tell me, young squire. Would you accept tales, stories, and other such whimsical parables as payment? 
Why does he talk like Shadow the Hedgehog? No, no, I would not. Don't make me go find Sonic dating ah, soldiers to shoot. torture you. I was so close too. He's not even Sonic awesome. EXE, I don't do the care. I want to <laughs> date Crystal, because I, I like furries. Flip it. I knew you say something so It's your recording! <laughs> hey, wait a minute! You, you say that again, you were breaking up pretty you, bad. You were, you, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're not Gremlin who lives in that tent next to the playground at the park. There you go. There we go. Oh no, my cover has been blown. Oh, goblin piece of indiscriminate species and gender. I'm only trying to impress your stench. It's just going to drive away customers. If I let you loiter around here un uninhibited for any longer. It's Valentine's Day today. Please do not bang on the glass. It scares Jerry. Valentine's Day? Isn't that for romantic people? <laughs> not the <Yeah>. fucking fingers. <laughs> Didn't you say you had to, lay, to have extra life or some other bizarre drivel that to that effect? Surely you have a maid of some kind if you're getting ready to lay eggs. <laughs> Did the socks under my mattress count? Okay, fuck it. I'm going to do this because I can only talk about three or more dialogue after we see if my head combusts. Say it a different way. <laughs> Come. <laughs> well, that day is a day for people who are, you know, in love. Is this love thing a type of feeling? I don't really do those things. Well, it's a lot of. It's in a graveyard. Love is what happens when two grown-ups start craving more than just business handshakes and platonic ice cream breaks. Yo, fuck, I don't even get platonic ice cream breaks. Love makes two people want to go on romantic ice cream dates and drink all kinds of exotic elixirs and luxes together. Eat that's yeah. a metaphor for alcohol. Oh, dirty drinks. Yeah. <laughs> When two grown-ups are in love, they just, they make a joint bank account together and they go to the movies together to feed popcorn to go to the rats and cockroaches there. Now always have the secret bank account for your money. Yep. And then one day, if you're lucky, your partner will take the kids away forever and you go marry Steve, the guy who's accounting firm who works at the same simple cubicle as you but makes 6% more than a year. Fuck. <laughs> and you know, you can finally have a good night's sleep. You tried. <laughs> it's because he puts commas, but no, no, like, no dodge, just commas. <laughs> Fuck. That's love, my scary friend. I'm not scary, I'm adorable. Oh, uh, you are a goblin. So. Speaking of which, we have a... Yeah, I'm sorry. Speaking of which, we have a promotion on today just for Valentine's Day. Two, two tickets for the price of one for couples who are in love. I understand the goal of this game now. If you can somehow convince someone to bring you here, you can. I don't know. Force them to bear you in like a parasite. Granted, it'll take a real master to. Mission acquired! Oh. God fucking <laughs> source mate. Okay. Uh go do that. I don't know I don't know how or why, but at, at one point it did, the voice fucking changed in the middle of the sentence. The horror of war. A very sex positive phone. Yeah. Yep, you did that. Go go do that. AWAY FROM HERE! This is where I wanted to say. 
So you. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun. Hey, Tiggy Jerry, are you by any chance free on Valentine's Day? I will call the police. No. Let's go back and actually see. Do like, you want to see if we can go back and do that route? Uh, yeah. Oh, you I'm can't. Scared. You have to exit the game to reload it. That's smarmy little bastards. We'll have to try Got again. A... Got a little way. Waddle waddle. Put any waddle away. Waddle waddle waddle. Dial town. <laughs> Chapter one, the fun fair date. Oh god. I'm gonna fuck phones. some phones. Yep. You filthy sluts. I'm gonna push their buttons all night long, baby. You know, I'm li I got a new place. I'm living in luxury. Ah, oh, no, it's still tent, the tent. sweet Never tent. Mind. To find a well-functioning member of society to latch onto like a parasite, you'll have to leave your tent, you know. Great stuff. Let's go lay these eggs. Brilliant. <laughs> Friendly Rook, you can bring up the main menu at any point using the escape key, including during NPC dialogue and during player choices. Whoop. This allows you to tweak options and save the game at any point. Use this if you want to do something but feel as though I can't read the bottom of the screen or killed. Do you guys want to go back and see if we can get that route? I'm down. So I think we have to end the game. Go to the title. Showly Schnikes. We're going in. So we can't ask him. Because if we ask him, then he's immediately going to tell us to go eat a dick. What if I say... No, I'll say, just you see, Mr. Ticket Jerry, I'll be back with a smoking hot babe. Please don't come back at all. Fuck you, Ticket Jerry. Scuttles so you away. you didn't lose that route that time. I'm totally gonna smash that guy. So, hey, you, we've managed to not lose a route, so we could come back and fuck Jerry. Or lay Yay! eggs in them. I don't know what we're actually going to do. Yeah. Going to lay a lot of eggs. Yay! What's that delivery method gotta look like? I really hope they don't show it. Hard boiled. <laughs> yeah, great stuff. Let's go lay these eggs. Brilliant. I already read all this. Suck it. I I'm can't skip his paid. dialogue, though, by the way. I'm getting paid by the line. What the fuck was that? I'm a cocker spaniel. I'm gonna save here just so we don't have to see that again. You fucking goblin. <laughs> you can just give up. <laughs> Do you want to? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's give up. I tried. But magic, what are you doing? I give up. I've had it with these relentless orb all stuck on. I've had it with love, egg laying, and everything else. You, you can't just give up. You haven't even left the tent. Leave me alone. I'm pregnant and tired. Pathetic. So that's... So what if it is? I'm going rogue. I'm going off the grid. But magic, don't do this. Come on. I bet if you really, really try, maybe if you actually left your tent, you'd find someone to take you take you to that accursed fair. I am committed to no, giving no. up, narrator. Fuck effort. <laughs> you aren't fit to, for, to forage... To forage away from society, butt magic. Sorry. I just eat turnips, I guess. They grow outside, right? Would you even recognize a turnip field? They don't grow on trees. Aren't they a fruit? 
My god, you clearly don't even know what a turnip is! This is a lot of pressure! I thought being a hermit was meant to be relaxing! Have you ever met a well-adjusted hermit? I've never met a hermit, period! That's the fucking point! But magic, you can't just... Uh... Hey, boning. <laughs> <laughs> but magic, are you? Uh, sir, sir. Oh, eggs. Let's go. dear God. Huh. How about that? Eggs. I guess you just left it too long. So wait, am I a parent now? Well, your shelled time bombs do have to hatch first, I guess. Do you think you have it in you to look after? Oh, okay. You're already thinking about something else, aren't you? Do bats make nectar? And if so, what does it taste like? Okay, fuck Why it. Why did that read like a Jaden Smith tree? <laughs> okay, fuck it. Whatever's done is done. It probably was. Your eggs have been laying, and, you st and you're still sadly you. Go. You have overcome nary a trial and dodged all possible character development at all costs. Yes. You proud of yourself? Yes. You're repugnant. I never. I, I have never claimed to be otherwise. Yes. <laughs> Great. Guess you're just thrilled with how things have turned out then. Actually, I'm not sure if I am. Wait, really? And why the heck is that? This is some sort of devious, nonsensical behavior. Nonsensical behavior seems right up your alley. I guess something's missing. Something's wrong. Am I pregnant again? God, I hope not. You just gave birth, so I very much doubt that. Cats can be impregnated twice at once, so what's your point? Yes, but I find that cats tend to give birth to their young all in one go, instead of tactically keeping a few kittens in their womb to shoot out of their gut later on at their discretion. Not unlike a shrewd feline trebuchet. trebuchet. Besides, you definitely didn't have any more space in that swollen gut of yours for more eggs than you just laid. Right. Hmm. Uh, also, somebody tag out. Somebody's at the door. Okay. Mike, you get to be bonehead until he gets back. Well, what do you think I lack? Purpose, definitely. You had one goal, and since you achieved it so quickly and without any effort, character development, you haven't had any time to think of the next goal to hurl your limp green bot at. So you're in motivational limbo. Is this what a midlife crisis feels like? Well, if it was, your kids would be louder and trying to swallow carpet tacks, and your disgruntled wife would be asking for you to explain the scratches, the scratched out scratch cards filling the back seat of your car. Otherwise, though, sure. Damn it! I need some pur pros. Purpose. The propane. Go outside. Okay. F U Bench. Tell me, dear narrator, is bench a purpose? Only for a very special kind of freaks, but magic. Trust me. No purpose at all is better than having your purpose in life be bench. Rats! I was so close, too! You think this true passy thing might just end up coming to me? What? No! That's an awful idea! You need to go out and explore the world, talk to folks, seek new experiences, overcome trials, and... Dismissed. Oh, university, hear my prayer. You have a expanding bowl of cosmic hogwash. 
I demand a sign. Oh, like anything's gonna happen just because... Who wants to be Randy? I kind of feel like we should wait until the game comes back. Alright. Because we, we've all, all seen and met Randy. This is, this is where we, we end up in the asylum. Yep. So we gotta be careful. Well, he's just going down that same fucking path, so we're gonna have to try to kind of ease him away from that path. Yep. It is funny how everyone's first instinct is to just give up. Yep. Murder, man. Oh, wait, I was sent a game. Oh, right, they don't do a pop-up anymore. Murder. Hold on. Somebody sent me... Oh, Anarchy sent me... Uh, Katamari reroll. Thank you. Good game, you say. I don't trust you. Thank you, Anarchy. Sorry, it doesn't pop up on the screen, like, on the side of the screen anymore. So again, we're just gonna give it a minute, so I'm gonna put the B right back up while we wait. We're okay, to get back. So how's everyone enjoying tonight? By the way, guys, we're 12... When we did this first time. Mike gets to be Randy. This beat is fire, though. Hey, I heard yelling! Are you having a heart attack? Do you need impromptu open heart surgery? I don't think I would want that. I'm totally inexperienced, but I'll attempt just about any major surgery for $3. I mean, that's better than American healthcare. But only if you pay me beforehand because uh, your surgical odds are not all that good with me at the helm. You so much as touched me with the scalpel, I swear. Hey, hey, who said that I had a scalpel? I don't want to get cut. It makes me nervous. What am I? A licensed professional? For real, though. Nope. Just a plastic fork to be more my speed. Also, that is a Nokia. Smash Nokia. Slut. And it's got fuck face on it. Don't worry, I can always sanitize it with relatively clean cola taken from the bottom of a discarded soda can. Yo, this is pretty sure this is how, like, Breaking Bad started. Yeah, no, if it didn't have any... I, if I didn't have a reptilian immune system, that'd, like, kill me and stuff. Uh-huh. So, uh, yeah. My name is Randy. Kind of like if the sort of underbelly of a turtle was a person. Swag. Thank you, Randy. Randall. What has you bench gazing, my scary green friend? Are you looking for purpose? Always. How did you know? Overheard you earlier. First thing I tried, too. I learned the hard way that benches are not an adequate thing to center your entire life around. Unless you're a drunk carpenter or own a local furniture shop. I'd totally be down with Oak owning a furniture shop. Otherwise, you're just a bench enthusiast with a nectar problem. So what's your purpose, then? Well, right now, I'm at work. Then one day, I get to die! Sounds marvelous. Except for the working part. <laughs> Real. What else do people use to occupy their time and energy constructively? Porn? Yeah, that's, my, that's where my time goes. Well, I see, most people also... Uh, well, aim for nice stuff like love, you know? Human connection. Yeah, I'm, I'm more about a physical connection guy. I'm green. Oh, right. That doesn't seem easy at all. Do you have a love? Yeah, I mean, I guess. How'd you find them? Were they on a bench? <laughs> this man likes his benches. No, no. 
Maybe. I crafted my girlfriend out of trash! Oh, I forgot Randy does that. Tell me more, esteemed bandage weirdo. Yeah, I was having trouble finding a mate, too. Probably a fuck doll. I guess my intense masculine energy was intimidating potential partners. Impossible. But go on. So I meticulously crafted a body pillow out of literal garbage. Every night I fall asleep touching my makeshift partner and weep inconsolably. And this is a normal thing that people do. Of course it is! Would I ever mislead you knowingly or accidentally? Hmm, I guess not. It's amazing how this conversation started with heart surgery. Could... Could I do this? Absolutely! All you need is trash. Trash. Anyway, I gotta go wrangle a hostile pawn Davian before it wrangles me. I think that's a fucking metaphor. Ciao! I like Randy. I get a good vibe from Randy. Okay, that man is obviously extremely poorly adjusted. Please do not take a word of his advice seriously. I have absorbed each and every word of his advice. Oh, phone goddammit. Love! This isn't right, but magic. This isn't true love. Like manipulating someone to pay into your local fun fair, circus, or carnival. This is unnatural. This is power no mortal should ever dream of wielding. Shut. I just need to figure out who to model my lover on. If you pick Randy, I'm checking out. No, no. I need somebody who's principal. Uh-huh. Someone who would never leave me. Right. Someone who believes in me and believes I can be better. Sounds promising. Do you know such a person? Yeah! Oh, I think no matter what, we're going down the same path again. It's you! Oh, what? shit. No, no, I, I, I don't believe in you! Not even slightly! I'm just an incorporeal voice that only you can hear! Pick Randy. He's objectively a much- I have chosen! So what are you gonna make a body pillow of me then? How would that even work with me lacking a physical form to depict on a pillow? Hmm. No, wait! I've got it! Behold. No. Sock. <laughs> no. Okay, so you're dating a sock puppet now? I'm just dating. Yes, and the sock is you. You have been given physical form. This is really sad. Well, do you have any better ideas? Yes, and I have shared several of them with you. Very true. We're doing this ending again, so we're locked into an ending. Do you want to see this ending, Kane, or do you want to try a different ending? Let's try a different one. Okay. I didn't know that this locks us into an ending. I would fuck a sock, unironically, though. As long as the You sock basically end up in a mental institution. You don't I get mean, to fuck that, the sock. That's disappointing, because I would probably just end up there anyway. Okay. That's the one we want. So you get to leave your tent or open the menu. Leave the tent. Where would you like to go? Uptown Dial Town. Sounds interesting. What, what the fuck did I do? Okay. For me, this game has obviously taken the hard drugs. We've seen weird. Yeah, this oh. definitely crazy. 
up downtown town. Home of everything and everyone. Not cool enough to be in downtown dial town. I like the rainbow. Does that say nothing to see here? Yeah, it does. Indeed. So what now? Summon a local hobo. <laughs> What the fuck? Am I just gonna make fun of a homeless person? Because if so, that's just what I do in my free time anyway. <laughs> Hobo of Dialtown! I summon thee! This one will be Moko. What the- no, no, I- I- Is this Mike or is- what? Uh, it's got the dog on the TV, I don't know. I think it is Mike. It's hard though. Yo! I like how I come back to something completely new as a local hobo. Hey, nice to meet you, friendo. The name's Hound. You need something? Why does he sound like Tower? Are you indeed a hobo? Well, yeah, I do piss in dumpsters and sleep in alleys and such, but... Being a hobo ain't my main gig. I'm a towel boy at the Y. Yeah, the thing is, I'm kind of like God and stuff. I created everything around you right now and fired out the cosmos and the stars and shit. I just feel like this is actually how God would probably talk. I, I, I other than the whole fire and cosmos, I think that's the plotline of uh, of uh, Casamari as well. Yeah, I'm kind of a big deal, actually. Hang on, you create everything? Well, yeah, most things. But not everything. Well, yeah, you guys did some of the work, to be fair. I bet we did more than you did to, to, to create a stinky mutt. Oh, you're gonna die. You know what? Fair. Fair. You ever, like, leave a takeout box in the corner of your room and forget to bend the box? Only to find a new species evolved from the remains of your chicken Thai curry from last month? That, yeah, that did happen to me, except it was Panda Express uh, fried rice. Oh man, that makes the weirdest fucking things when that goes bad. Kick me on God. <laughs> this world is my takeout box, and I'm the hungover dude gazing upon infinite possibilities in disgust and awe. Yeah, it's nice to meet you. Oh wow, there's a lot. Just in case. I mean, we, we we definitely gotta go for the red option, don't we? I, I'm gonna I'm it's gonna get. I want to know what the meaning of life is. If you're if, God, if, what's the meaning of life then? If he says 42, I'm just exiting the game. You want me to come up with a reason for all this existence? Don't you remember why you created the universe? I don't remember what I ate this morning, jackass! Am I God? Did no. I have breakfast this morning? I had a Little Caesars pizza. Oh, God. I probably ate trash, knowing me. He's, he's a hobo. Let's not also forget this. So can you, like, come up with the meaning of life right now? Ah, fuck that. Why don't you come up with the meaning of life? I'd probably be a million times more coherent than what I could think of. I think the meaning of life is to eat or be eaten. Is that the one you want? Yeah. That's the spirit! I love our mod just comes back and goes, oh god, not this game again. 
I'm sure that if you were meant to devour everyone around you, I wouldn't have created everyone to be made entirely out of food. It's kill or be killed. Sure, why not? It's fuck or be fucked. Okay, wait. Don't get me wrong, I'm loving this idea. But please don't fuck a cactus under the assumption that you don't fuck it. It'll fuck you first! Or actually, maybe you... I'm curious and kind of want to see what'll happen. So do I. Oh, Punch you get to God. ask all these if you want to. Punch God. You fool! I'm a god! How can you kill a god? What a grand and intoxicating innocence. How could you be so naive? I... Okay, I appear to have just shit myself. <laughs> so stupid. You win this round, green one. Oh, I fought God? Okay, uh... You fought God and you won, dude. Are you drunk right now? <laughs> Where is that? Is it 11 a.m. yet? I'm awake and moving, so yes, it must be at least noon. And I'm indeed moments away from severe liver failure, yes. I, I wonder if all of these are just like the devs' friends that model for this shit, because that makes it so much funnier. <laughs> I think it is, but I hit this back door. I can't tell. Is this supposed to be San Francisco or it's like somewhere else? What's your favorite hobby? Yeah. You ever eaten broken glass or shiny rocks before? Rock candy count? I don't recommend it, but still, don't knock until you tried it. I'm partial to the taste of gravel myself. Gravel? What are you, some kind of weirdo? Yes, exclusively. At least hard for normal things to eat if you're gonna scavenge. Like broken glass and shiny rocks. See, there we go. Aren't you afraid that you'll be arrested for standing on the road? I mean, he's not wrong. What is a traffic stop? Oh, God. What is a traffic stop to a god? <laughs> and what is a god to a non believer? Honestly? No judgment here, pal? Well, this guy's woke as fuck. I don't really believe in myself either, to be frank. <laughs> I like the you fact that God is. to take it to the fun fair? Yeah, I want to go to the fun fair with God. God, how much would that even cost? One, maybe even two dollars? For real, that's expensive these days. Do I look like I have two dollars right now? Darn, I guess that explains why you're a smelly hobo dog! Yeah, that... I'm just too stubborn to live anywhere that I didn't create myself. Oh, it said me-self, not myself. I know. Oh, he, oh, he's Irish. Okay. But if you're God, didn't you create everywhere? Well, plants, trees, and shit, anywhere outside. Yeah, I can take credit for that, sure. Buildings? Concrete? Yeah, that's new shit. You know what, you fucking onions are doing with rock, but it's blasphemy, and I don't care for much of it at all. Yeah, he's a simple man. But well, you sleep on the street! 
There's hardly more trees and plants on this street than in, let's say, the park. You ever tried to lie down at the park? I swear, the bench there is the only human laying surface area not covered in used syringes and badger shit. Yeah, I, I always found my syringes by Krispy Kreme. You know I'm right! Plus concrete aside, there's dumpsters plenty around here. Free food whenever you feel like it. No, that's nasty. Long gone are the days where cavemen have to run squirrels with stone crossbows whenever they get peckish. Raccoons have already figured this out, by the way, and literally just scurry around and eat trash all day. Yeah, they're officially my chosen people now. You guys could learn a thing or two from those little stripy bastards. Same with raccoon, bro. Hmm. Noted. What are you doing? Speaking of dog god, hold on. What you doing? Take a walk. Need some beer. Another allergy pill. Okay. Guess you got it going. Yeah, I'm about to say that's going so soon, eh? Uh, I think that's me. Yeah. Going so soon, eh? Watch the rush. Yo, I don't like where this is going now. Uh, oh, um, <laughs> these are actually these are all good ones. I, I, I mean, I'm gonna start with the with the classic. Go lay me some eggs. Actually, I'm heavily pregnant. Oh hey, you one of those reptile fellows that I made a few million or so years ago? I judge and just saying, fuck you guys are weird. Good luck conquering the human race and whatnot, though. They'll never see it coming. Ciao! Leave the area, I guess. Oh, Where would you over. like to go? Let's sneak onto the subway. That sounds like fun. The outskirts of town. Okay, the outskirts of to town. Sounds like you can get sketchy. I like sketchy. Alas, the outskirts of Dialtown, where a city meets bumfuck nowhere. Indeed. Some people like getting away from it all, you know. It all being what? Civilization, a lack of blood sucking ticks everywhere? What are you talking about? Dialtown's crawling with lawyers. Lawyers and ticks have similarities, sure, but there's one clear difference. What, the extra leg? No, the tick falls off when you die. Classic. <laughs> so what now? Just wander into the woods, I guess. <laughs> hey, narrator, I've got me one of those things again. A brain tumor? No, the other thing. Anal hemorrhage? No, the other other thing. Oh, no. Oh, God, no! You don't have an idea, do you? See. Can, what? Can somebody, tell? can somebody, can somebody clip you as he's saying anal hemorrhage? Fuck you. <laughs> yeah. What, pray tell, is the idea? I'm thinking I'm, I just ditch my clothes and gallivant off into the woods. Yeah, no, that didn't go so well last time. Oh, God. I got out of the bear trap in the end. Your bear trap. You set it up, as you may recall, in case, and I quote, a motherfucking grizzly be d do be approaching. FYI, I was right. A grizzly bear did appear. Actually, that was just an underpaid performer wearing a bear suit from a nearby fun fair who was attracted by your rapturous gurgling. Right. What an ass. He was nice enough to call the emergency services for you. Right, but what did the ambulance driver say to me when they pulled up? 
You know, the mayor only allows you one of these trips to ER a week. See you next Tuesday, you lime-hued fuck. <laughs> in fairness, you are a threat to civilization. So in that case, the best thing for me to do is to leave it behind, right? Or just adapt your behavior to be less... Pass. I'm just gonna wander in the woods now for the hell of it. Alright, let me just. Day 14. I've been wandering the woods for what seems like an eternity. I haven't seen my darling in what seems like years. I've grown quite weary, and my feet are sore. It's a terrible joke, Shallon. Out of these goddamn trees. Dad, come pick me up! <laughs> You've been wandering for three minutes, butt magic. Wait, only three minutes? Yeah, give or take. Man, nature sucks. Leaves don't do shit! Not these leaves. Well, neither do you. Touche. Wait, hang on just a moment. Oh. I feel different suddenly. You're blue. Like I'm losing my manners. My urban instincts. Am I going feral? What, ma- I feel like I'm becoming feral! You called it. You're already pretty feral. Oh, God! I can no longer remember the smell of Papa's stove. What are you talking about? I've gone rogue! I'm off the chain now! There's nothing to stop me from shedding my clothes and going gaga! You actually shed those 90 seconds ago. What's stopping me from eating some dirt? Please don't. My hog instincts are kicking in. Must dig for truffles. Okay, you know what? Fuck it. Go muck, go muck about in the dirt if you insist. You'll just eat four-ish pine cones, get tired and slash or hungry, and then walk back to the road. Which is very much part of civilization, I'm, I might add. To pers peruse the nearby ditches for roadkill. Free me. Wait a minute. Do you see those? What, dirt? No. Footprints. Okay, yeah, so? Do you realize what this means, dear narrator? Oh, not this eight-man hogwash again. Yeah! L look you've been pacing in circles for the last minute or so. There's- those are probably yours? Wrong answer, biznatch! If these prints were mine, the claw marks would be much thinner. Right. Your elongated toenails. Me claws, yes! This be Bigfoot! Alright, fine. Maybe these aren't these tracks aren't yours, but the last six times you found Bigfoot tracks, they either turned out to be bear tracks, human tracks, or in the last case, gorilla tracks made by an escaped gorilla from the zoo. I came close that last time. Dude. Following those gorilla tracks just wound up leading you to the escaped gorilla, which was not pleased to see you. What the fuck is its I, head? I, oh, I it's, a, it's, like, it's a drum. Yeah, yeah. it's a Congo it's bongo. Congo drum. Yeah, so I, something like that. Yeah. I thought the gorilla seemed very eager. Yeah, to eat you. Poor thing was clearly starving. 
and he thought you were Bamboo Scarecrow being pale and green. In fairness, the gorilla didn't bite me that hard. You still have a massive scar on your collarbone, which is amazing given the gorilla now lacked visible mouths. It all worked out in the end, didn't it? Right until the Aurora... <laughs> The Aurora. Hold on. You're echoing again, Mike. Damn it. The Aurora Rustle Belt, Dial Town's resident zookeeper and weirdo, showed up, tranquilized you both, and took you back to the gorilla enclosure at the Dial Town Zoo. But I'm free now, aren't I? It was still an ordeal that could have very simply been avoided by merely. I came so close that time! Bear! It's got a bear trap for a head. <laughs> Man. Oh, this is gonna do... Gorilla. Fuck. Each time was closer than the last to finding Bigfoot. One more time. One more go is all I need. Good God, butt magic. Haven't you ever heard the expression, curiosity killed the cat? Curiosity kills the cat, and then I get to eat the cat. No. Please, butt magic. I implore you to reconsider acting out whatever depraved idea might be swirling around in that green noggin of yours. Mm -hmm. But magic, please. <laughs> Ten minutes of crazy. Yeah. <laughs> please, I beg of you. Explain your plan to me again. <laughs> Why? The plan's foolproof. What part of this is you consider foolproof? Have you never watched cartoons as a mere kitten? Never gazed upon the wild coyote as he sprang nefarious traps. Really nefarious. All in his vein in pursuit to catch the fast ostrich. Uh-huh. And how did that work out for the scheming canid in question? Silence, shout lobe. This is the most optimized trap in the world. Explain it to me. Bigfoot takes the cheddar, I pull the string, the ruler, and the box both fall over. He's trapped under the box, I win. Okay, so quick sidebar. Firstly, why is the lore cheddar of all things? You think you prefer a stinkier cheeses? I think... It's bold of you to assume Bigfoot would eat cheese and not say the flesh of children. I think placing a child on a giant mouse trap is just asking for trouble. That's actually quite a sensible thing to say. I've had my reason not to try the flesh o childer bait mouse trap. Yeah, and were those reasons one that you lacked a nearby small child, and two, you lacked a comically large mouse trap? Why not tempt him with something a tad sweeter than cheddar or the flesh of lost children? Say, chocolate? Bad idea. A dog can't eat chocolate, so who knows if Bigfoot can? Can gorillas eat chocolate? I mean, we can, so they probably can, right? Alright, for the sake of the argument, we'll go with the human rules. To be fair, there's also lactose intolerant people. I swear, if you pitch <laughs> Bigfoot any soy products. If Bigfoot has the same values as the residents of Dialtown, I reckon he'd rip your head clean off if you tried to serve him coffee with soy in it. Bigfoot would never do that. Bigfoot and I are kindred spirits. God damn it, butt magic! Bigfoot is not re- No, it couldn't be. Could it be? 
Are you fucking serious? <laughs> Sas Sasqua oh. oh my fucking god. Oh. <laughs> my persistence, my diligence. It has finally been rewarded. Sasquatch, my love. <laughs> Who wants? Oh, is it? Is it not? No, me it's too? you. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh. Come on, big guy. I. I have a banana. Please don't be in your pants. <laughs> Where did you get that? Shh. Is that your dick? Come here, baby. Come here. Oh. I hate this. I hate all of this. Shut fuck narrator! Bigfoot is Oh. No, no, she she it's okay! I wasn't yelling at you, darling! I would never do that! Huh. How oh, danger! How oh, danger? <laughs> How dare you anger me in Bigfoot's presence! You were so mad you made a new <clears throat> word. For years! Years! Oh, relax. He'll be back. He saw the nanner. He did see the nanner, yes. Still, Bigfoot is easy to startle. We know that now. But of course he is. Did you honestly think Bigfoot had escaped nearly all detection by mere coincidence? Well, my gut told me he was hard to find because he wasn't real, but now I'm questioning a lot of things I thought I knew. Bigfoot is 40% motion blur, 30% hair, 20% mystery, and 20% good gravy. Wait, 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 hold up. That adds up to 110%, you know. I was about to say, yeah, that's the end. Okay. There's at least 10 extra percent in mystery, damn it. This is Bigfoot math. I ain't gotta explain shit. <laughs> <laughs> so dumb. Wait, it's magic. I don't gotta explain Ooh. shit. There he is. <laughs> Whoa. Easy does it. You want the banana boy? You want it? Oh. Just give him the banana man. We don't know how easily he angers. I'm That's sure Bigfoot it. never hurt me. I'm gonna fuck Bigfoot. Oh. I know okay, it's, get, it, it's getting hard to stay like, so I'm gonna go sleep. Good night, guys. Good night. Uh, yeah. Good night, my yeah. friend. You've been choke slammed by 14 apes in your life that I know of. Bigfoot has never been documented as violent. What about Mike Johnson from Utica, who claimed that Bigfoot tore a hole in his side with his massive teeth? He was paid to say that, and you know it. The mayor of Utica paid him off to keep the baboon sightings under wraps. The people knew what lurked in the very bushes. They'd mob. I do not believe for a moment that Utica's forests contain even one escaped baboon. You also stated that our forest didn't uh, contain Bigfoot. Huh. All right, then. Let's never visit Utica. We will never visit Utica. We are in agreement. Yeah, Bigfoot's happy too. Stop jacking off. <laughs> You're keeping someone waiting. Oh, oh right. Oh. 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 He seems to like bananas. Oh. Are you surprised? You know what? Perhaps not. Oh. I guess it figures that he'd like bananas. He's an ape man. Apes like bananas. Er, apes like nanners. Men like nanners. I guess we're just hedging our bets. Indeed. 
Bigfoot, my love. Ooh. This, the banana seems to have calmed him down all right. He's nice and docile now. I think we're ready for... First contact. Please don't fuck the Bigfoot. No. Too lewd. Stop finger fucking. <laughs> Done it. Congratulations, Kane. You fucked Bigfoot with your finger. Let's go. You got big ass hands, too. I've tamed Sasquatch! I mean, have you really? He's a feral ape man from God knows where. He probably has fleas, you know. Should I de louse Bigfoot? I think you should remember your primary objective. I believe my primary objective was to find Bigfoot, actually. You're still heavily pregnant, don't forget. You still ha gotta lay those eggs. <laughs> oh, me guts. You know I'm right. Oh, I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I'm sorry to pry you from fucking Sasquatch, but you still have to overcome your greatest hurdle yet. Ticket Jerry. Damn him. Damn him to oblivion. All right, butt magic. Time to say goodbye to Bigfoot. I can't believe I just had to say that sentence out loud. What the fuck? Sasquatch. My one true love. Whoa. I guess this is goodbye. Theoretically, couldn't we just have Sasquatch attack Jerry? Probably. Yeah. Oh. I'm sorry. I must go now. Oh, Aww, you're a horrible oh. man. Maybe he's just really Italian. What's wrong, boy? Are you trying to tell me something? Oh. What? What's this? Is this for me? Does he have a family? Is this your family, Bigfoot? <laughs> Oh, so you're touching. a cheap whore. Oh, oh no! The government... They took your family, didn't they, boy? The <laughs> government. Oh. Nope. Nuh-uh. I'm not feeling bad for the motherfucking Sasquatch. I'm a heart narrator! Please take the firm step back and realize that you're asking me to pity a semi-mythical ape man. I can't just abandon Bigfoot. Not like this. I can't just leave him on his own again. But magic. What about your eggs? What about Ticket Jerry? Wait. I. Maybe I can use Bigfoot. Oh, oh no. I beseech you, but magic. Please, discard the notion, I beg of you. It's ape time, narrator. No, don't excite Bigfoot. You stop that. The wheels are already in motion, baby. Ape train, full speed ahead. This... This isn't an option. How on earth could you use Bigfoot to bypass the ever st stoic Ticket Jerry? Ooh. Oh. Oh, I can use it to. Oh. Bigfoot is evil. Yeah, I'm about to say I'm 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 an evil guy, so we're gonna use Bigfoot for evil. Fuck it. I should use Bigfoot. For evil! Ooh. Boy, that a sentence I sure never thought I'd have to say. But magic, what? I... I don't... This is all very simple, I think you'll find. Bigfoot is an ape man. He is a strong killer than we could ever need. 
This fucking word, dude. Sasquatch is ripped, jacked, and thoroughly shredded. Ooh. All right, okay. Bigfoot is excessively powerful, sure, but I don't get how that solves. Oh, you're not. Yes. Bigfoot will kill Ticket Jerry. Our final obstacle. Oh. Yes, my dear Sasquatch. I will teach you all about manslaughter. Please don't teach Bigfoot that it's okay to kill humans. I feel like that's a switch we won't be able to unflick. I've already decided. I declare murder to be legal for all nearby ape men. Yes, my dear Sasquatch, you are untethered now. Yes, harness that rage, my boy. All right, spill the plan then. I feel if I know what is about to happen, I may just be able to stop it. Okay, so first, I'm going to bring Ticket Bigfoot to Ticket Jerry. How are you going to lure him over to Ticket Booth? Do you have a second banana, perchance? You know I don't. I didn't know you had the first one. I'll just fish a collar leash out of the dumpster, I guess. We take both from a dog that tied to a pole outside a supermarket. Okay, so you graduated from eight man slaughter to stealing from a literal dog. So? Come on, Hound is man's best friend. I am no man, I am Goblin. I really don't like the arc that you've undertaken lately. From what I can see, your character development has been solely compromise of egotism and per petty crime thus far. Do you consider coaching Bigfoot to murder a petty crime? Oh. Pal, I don't think the laws that govern us have a pre-existing category for training Bigfoot to murder civilians. Ah, this will have to go straight to the Supreme Court without a doubt. I think I get sent to the big house. There are, oh, there are Area 51, yeah. Honestly, I think the feds would love to take a piece of pro, a nice probing peek at what's inside you. Oh dear. But have you also considered what'll happen when you bring Bigfoot to the fun gate? We've been over this. He wrecks Jerry's shit. I enter the fun fair. Easy as. Have you taken the fact that Bigfoot is a feral ape person into consideration? Right. I'm sure violence is right up his alley. If it isn't, I can always coax him. Ooh. Assuming you are able to motivate Bigfoot to slaughter Jerry at work, have you considered that Bigfoot will somehow have to go into Jerry's enclosed office? He just smashed the glass with his ape knuckles. The bulletproof glass? The glass isn't bulletproof. Funfair said it was in the news recently. Had to replace the old glass with bulletproof glass for legal reasons after that co coaster flew through the glass and flattened the last ticket dude. They could have just lied for insurance reasons. You're clutching at the moist straws here, pal. I I'm sure Bigfoot, he could... Ah, shit, I forgot to revise our tactics. Mark my words, Bigfoot. Ooh. When we are done here today, you will have all the training you need to successfully murder and devour Ticket Jerry. Ooh. Did one of those words excite you, boy? Was it murder? Oh. oh no, he likes murder. Training. Oh. Devour. <laughs> okay, this. This I can use. I don't like where this is going.
<laughs> to use Bigfoot for war task one, preventing civilians from... Okay. All right, boy. With both of us standing deep within the remote forest that envelops Dialtown, we can practice without presenting an extreme danger to any nearby civilians. Dude, we aren't any further from civilization than we have been at any point earlier today. Nuh uh. There's a busy road right behind you, you know. <laughs> yeah, well, we, we don't know that Bigfoot knows what cars are. Training him to kill people, not giant metal insects. Do you think Bigfoot can drive? Yes, next question. Ooh. Right, and why are you so sure? Think Bigfoot walked from Oregon to Texas and then somehow to here? Bigfoot has been spotted in Arizona, man. Can you really picture Bigfoot trekking across a fucking desert? I can't say I can, no. Well, Bigfoot drives. If not, he must know how to hitchhike. Bigfoot, do your best hitchhiker. <laughs> he fucking he does not. it, too. Yeah, see? Who on earth picked up Bigfoot and drove him within walking distance of here? A fellow Sorry. lover of apes. Anyway, oh, wow. since we're here from civilized society. I think a the lot better of really people. messed up people that wanted to fuck Bigfoot. I was about basically. to say, what did Bigfoot have to pay? Bigfoot pays an ass. That's he yep. I was going to say, he doesn't have gas and he doesn't have grass or, so, you know, or cash. So, yeah, I know he's going to have to pay with his butthole. Oh, yeah. It's time for your first lesson, Bigfoot. Yes. my You see, my beloved primitive friend. Our enemy is none other than the one and only that bastard man, Ticket Jerry. Scorn him, for he is an omnipotent hurdle. Oh, or omnipotent, sorry. All right, you likely haven't met Ticket Jerry. Narrator, do you think Bigfoot has been to the fun fair? Uh, startlingly amusing as it is to imagine an elusive ape man cheerfully riding a roller coaster. Somehow, I doubt that Bigfoot could cope well with the blinding neon lights, nor the cacophonous roar of loosely held together contraptions surrounding him. What? Too bright, too loud. Make the ape man go, ooh. Ooh. Wait, was that <laughs> one of you or was that the game? That was the game. No, yeah, it was the game. Huh. Yeah, see, like that. You'd best physically describe to get Jerry to him. You are attempting to teach Bigfoot to communicate, man's to commit manslaughter after all. That's a dangerous power to abuse! Blow it out your ass! If I want to use Bigfoot for needless violence, I shall! At the very least, don't harm innocent civilians. Aside from the aforementioned Ticket Jerry, if you must, who, need I remind you, is also an innocent civilian. Ah, uh, hmm. I do need to ensure you that Jerry doesn't get away in the chaos somehow. Jerry shall be Bigfoot's primary target. This is going longer than I thought it would. Okay, Bigfoot, I will describe Jerry to you now. Whoa. He, uh, he has a brown head, kind of old. Oh, wait, is it gold? It's definitely a phone of some kind. Can you even picture Jerry right now? I, uh... <laughs> That's you, Take Mike. Ticket Jerkwin? Seriously? What do you expect from me, Dream Jerry? You know how many prescription cough syrups I'm on right now? Four. Oh. I'm in your brain, remember? Trick question. None of it is none of it is prescription, and in fact, local medical practitioners shoo you away with comically large mallets whenever you ransack their offices looking for more. This is literally my life, the game. You lie. <laughs> Ooh. 
Who are you trying to fool here, jackass? I'm inside your head! Enough! Bye-bye, Jergwin! Oh god, no! Huh. Why was Jerry a penguin, anyhow? Gives off that vibe, I guess. What vibe? What vibe do penguins give off? I'm sure he can slide on his belly, but I doubt he can fly. Therefore, penguin. Whenever we get this ending. I mean, by that logic, Jerry likely a... Jerry's like a horse, because he'd kick you in the head if you snuck up behind him, and... Well, I'm sure there's some convoluted method you could use to make glue out of the man when he gets to retiring age. Mm -hmm. Sounds wacky. I'm gonna stick with the foot. Thanks. Scrap the glue stick back to square one. Maiming ticket, Jerry. With that in mind, what do you think would happen if I unleashed Bigfoot on unsuspecting public? With the level of training you've given him thus far? Sure, why not? Presumably Bigfoot understands any of this? I think Bigfoot would definitely maul innocent civilians. He, he might knows how to hitch. He might make a beeline straight for the zoo and eat a few penguins. I don't know. You've probably gotten the poor ape all muddled. Aw. Either way, you'd go to prison for war crimes once they find out you were behind this. Prison? I ain't going back to the big house. I can't live behind bars again. Okay, plan B. Process of elimination. Alright, Bigfoot. Listen very carefully to me, okay? By the way, you're on ending one of three endings with Bigfoot. Okay, so we'll do this ending, and then another day when Kane's available again, we'll do another one. He does play crazy well. This right here is a civilian. Where'd you get that picture? Stole it from the bank. Tore it off the wall. Was hoping to ransom it for $2 to buy a funfair ticket. But this plan is far better. What? Oh, what? Wrong sorry. You're despicable. Shut! Again, Bigfoot. This is a civilian. Do not harm these that make you a war criminal. Yes, Bigfoot, a war criminal is a bad thing to be. Here, I'll let you get a closer look. Make sure you understand. Is that Jerry? Because that'll be funnier. Oh. Well, this is promising. See, I think he understands this. He's going to rip it in two. Oh. Mm, okay, see, Bigfoot develops a taste for human flesh. It's quite ideal. Use Bigfoot for war. Task two. Teaching Bigfoot to hand-to-hand -to -hand combat. Oh, God. All right, Bigfoot. I will teach you basic combat skills. Uh, Anarchy, do you know how much longer this route is? Oh. Please don't do this butt magic. It's distressing enough knowing that Bigfoot is real and constantly lurking nearby. Giving him the ability to arbitrarily snap people's necks might just send me over the edge. I don't know. Bigfoot, do you want to learn how to snap necks? Do not listen to the monkey. He doesn't know what he wants. Bigfoot's done more to convince me of his trustworthiness than you have. I'm literally in your head. I'll side with the ape judgment on this one. Damn it. Don't make me get the dog. God damn it. Oh, wait, did it freeze again? No. Oh my god! Did Kane die? No, I don't know, did it, Kane? Kane? Kane, are you dead? 
Kane, do we have to feed you to Bigfoot? You may have had the run to take a shit. <laughs> you want to take over for him for a minute? Bigfoot! Today I will teach you the cornerstone of all truly effective fighting styles. The Karate Chop! Ooh. What the... You don't know karate! Bigfoot doesn't know that! Probably. Please don't go... Don't go Bigfoot into hurting himself. Bigfoot's fate is sealed! It is karate time! Internet just went bye-bye. Huh? -bye. What happened? Uh, his internet just died. Oh, so shit. we might have to save this. Yep, there he goes. This is this is getting ridiculous. I, I need to I at some point if we are stopping here, I, I need to see if Bigfoot fucking kills people. <laughs> you want to see if Kane will be free tomorrow? Uh, he will not be. I already had tapped him for D and D. He's gonna be busy. Tonight was the only night that he was free. You want you want me to ask him when the next time he'll be free to do this? Eh, yeah. I mean, if he want, I don't know. If, I don't know how free he'd be on weekdays. But... So we are going to Blue Ball Mike tonight. You bitch. Yes. So we'll see you guys tomorrow for more streaming fun. Indeed. Bye. Bye. Good night.